Nobody there after. One, two, curve, hit on a line to second. Do they cover second in time? Foot race to the bag, and they get the double play. Two on with one out, and the pitch is lifted to shallow center. This is going to be another tough one. Racino going back and caught over the shoulder. Sliding catch by Hughie into center to bring it back for the second out. ...to miss a call at, like they did in that first base right in front of him, but at least they got the other way. Whitley dives, he doesn't get it. One run's already in. It's going to roll and roll some more, most of the way to the wall. All the way in from first is Nagel. A game breaker to throw to third is late, and it's a two RBI bases clearing triple by South Brazil. And UMass Boston leads it 5 0 in the first. First pitch to him, hit out to center field. Frasino is playing deep, has to come in, dives, and makes the catch. Frasino had to sprint in, respecting Halpin's bat, and finally, one of the iffy plays on defense goes UMass Boston's way, and it's the Beacons making a fabulous catch. Frasino gets Tremendazzi through a 1 2 3 inning. Gets into the first one, down the handle of the bat, certainly deep enough to get one run in. This isn't getting caught. That is all the way down and to the warning track. So a couple runs are in. They're running on one another's heels, like something out of the movie Rookie of the Year. They're both going to get in and score. And just like that, UMass Boston comes storming back. A bases clearing double off the bat of Kyle Boudreaux has made this a 5-4 game. All the regulars. Two pitch, wave that miss for strike three. Now the 2 2, wave that miss. Kicks and deals, the 0 2, wave that miss, strike three. 1 2, wave that miss, strike three. So he's 1 2 pitch, wave that miss, big cut at it by Harrington. Facilities. 0 2, wave that miss, and the streak continues for Matt Tuller. So he kicks, he delivers. And that's called the strike, look to be low. This game notes I have washed away by the tremendous storm. You were up all night, all night. There's a swinging strike out. It's 1-1 one, one curveball, hit high and deep to left field. John going back, he's just going to watch it fly. And UMass Boston is in the lead for the first time in game 14. A no-doubter off the bat of Dan Mantoni, and the Beacons lead it 5-4. Mislocation there, John. They went away. Catcher set up away. Pitch was inside. Dan Mantoni clears it out, no doubt about it. Kids excited, all fired up, coming out of the dugout. The umpires really concerned about that for some reason. It's the infield in all the way around. First pitch taken out to left field, and the Beacons are back in front. Falls in left. One run is in. They will hold the second one as the throw comes in on a couple of hops, but Luke Nagel breaks the tie in the bottom of the eighth. Herzog driven to left field. If it's fair, the game's over. It's fair, the game's over. Herzog with the RBI single to deep left. It's a walk off. And UMass Boston survives the scare and they win it in extra innings by a final score of 9 8. Been dominant throughout the year. Trying for the exclamation point. The 0 2 pitch punched down to second base. Lopez up with it. He goes to second for the 27th out. And seven years later, UMass Boston is going back to Appleton, Wisconsin as New England Regional Champions as they knock off the Babs and Beavers 11-8. They win their 37th game of the season. And this time around, it's very believably unsurprising. Uh